Hello, Marcus Lim here with Detective Comics Gotham Nocturne Act 2 and this is the third volume that follows the first volume which is Overture and then we have the second volume which is Act 1 okay so this is Act 2 and I think we are about halfway through the whole Gotham Nocturne uh, storyline okay and I think there's like perhaps maybe at least two maybe three more volumes to go we'll see but uh, yeah, so this is Ram V's gothic opera take on the Dark Knight, right? What lies beneath Gotham? <laughs> uh, yeah, so this collects five issues from issue 1071 to 1075. So yeah, this volume 3 collects these three issues. Volume 3. Uh, let me show you the three issues. Let me show you the three issues. Uh, sorry, the five issues. One o seven one, one o seven two, one o seven three, one o seven four, and one o seven five. Okay, all these five issues. Now, one o seven three, as you can see, is the cover that's being used for the hard cover. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So let's take this open, okay? Yeah, so what lies beneath Gotham? Well, we know what lies beneath Gotham because at the end of Act 1, uh, the, the plans of the Oldhams, right? The centuries-old family who consider themselves the rightful heirs, right? Of, like Gotham. Uh, the, the, their plan is to use the, some kind of engine that they're building underneath Gotham a reality engine right in order to to reshape the the city to their own purpose so that's the jacket All right okay so let's see yeah again right we always get this sort of dual image i guess Ravi likes to play with duality i think that is barbatos barbatos <laughs> barbatos the personification of uh Gotham city like a demon. Okay, so let's let's uh, get into this Nocturne Act Two. So we start with uh, this one, right? So issue one o seven one, one o seven one. Okay. So Gotham plays great opening. So Batman's taking the fight to the Oldhams now. However. We do get some kind of flashback here, Lost Sense. Just, you know, just telling us a little bit more about their history, about Arzen or Arzen's, um, I guess, parents, how they are related to, say, uh, Ra's Shao Gu, also how the, you know, the, the that really engine came about, right? And then we have this backup story here, which has uh, something to do with Mr. Freeze. This is the third part of the story, okay? So, the tree of tree. Um, and then, okay, 1072. Uh, right, that's Arzen. Right, so here is where we finally see Batman fight him. Which is, you know, uh, long overdue, right? And all the other members of that family help out as well. But, you know, seeing that this is only Act 2, yeah, we wouldn't really be expecting Batman to, to win. Uh, by the way, there's this creepy uh, priestess, organ, organ priestess with this many eyes, who has the ability to mesmerize the city with the help of the reality engine. So there's a lot going on here, you know. Now we begin also a backup story with Arzen's childhood and this tree that I think he was he planted with his dad and now that his dad's gone Yeah, he's probably gonna cut the tree down <laughs> Okay, things that must die, right? That's what it's called uh, Alright, so we get to this one now continuing the story I mean, it's good to have the main story carry the plot forward, right? The fight with the organs and have the backup be the like the flashback Okay, so Yes, so the battle, right? Batman fights Arzen 
as I said, we wouldn't expect him to win at this point, right? And he doesn't. Uh, so you see, Batman gets taken over by this asthma demon, uh, and so it's not quite himself, right? Uh, <laughs> I think this is this is where Ram V starts to again delve into the whole like duality aspect, the conflict, the internal conflict that Batman faces, internal internal turmoil, right? Uh, you know the the role of darkness in his life. Where does that take him? You can see that comes up through these discussions with his various avatars, including Dick Grayson. Um, Barbatos appears, right? Barbatos, perhaps the the half that represents darkness. Um, and you know, in contrast to say Dick Grayson, who embraced the light. <clears throat> so yeah, so there's a lot going on here. There's this backup story by Dan Waters about this Tenite man, which seems to be a follow-up to his Arkham Order of the World story. And finally, we get to this final issue in this story arc. Okay, and yeah, we get another revisit of the crime alley scene, dealing with a childhood trauma. And again, right, this, this is where we see that turmoil, right, two paths out of trauma. Does he embrace, I guess, Barbatos, darkness, or, and, th and this backup story here is brilliant in doing that, right, ties into that theme, where we've got Alfred on one hand, lending him a warm hand, um, or does he choose Barbatos? So you can see this conflict at, at play, take my hand, Who, whose hand, Alfred or Barbatos? So there's a lot going on. And Ramvi's really trying to put a lot into this, right? Many themes, many layers, many characters. And, and I guess that's why some people are complaining that it's moving a bit slow. But that's why I feel like when all is done, and you've got all these volumes, you'll read much better. Anyway, here's the variant cover. Detective Comics 1071 variant. Another 1071 variant, Kelly Jones. 1071, 1072, 1071, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, 1072, Right, covering five issues. As I said, uh, seems to be moving kind of slow, and it's because there's lots going on, right? Um, but yes, when all is done, I think we will appreciate what Ramby is trying to achieve here. When you know, all maybe four, five, or six volumes of this, and you can like read it all in like a like one or a few sittings, right? You, I think you'll truly grasp the scope uh, and what Ramvi is trying to go for in this, in his operatic take on The Dark Knight. So there you go, uh, Detective Comics, Scotton Nocton Act 2. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in another video.